left me. Oh, it's like story time. Well, it is story time. Um, so thank you so much for tuning back in. Let's take this out. It's hurting my head. Oh, right. Thank you so much for tuning back into my next YouTube video, which is me talking about how I feel um, with my body changing through pregnancy. Um, also, I'm going to do a little bit of an update as well because we've just come back um, a couple of hours ago from my um, second scan. So I'll start with that and then I'll go on to how I feel with the body changing. Um, so we went for a second scan. Um, baby's fine, baby's healthy. The reason we did is because I have something that's called an introverted uterus. So let me explain to you, sorry, retroverted uterus. Let me explain to you what that is. So if you put it into Google, retroverted uterus means that the uterus is tipped backwards so that it aims towards the rectum instead of towards the belly. So some women might experience some symptoms, including a painful lower back. And in most cases, a retroverted uterus won't cause any problems during pregnancy. Now, I am one of those people, if it doesn't 100% say, I won't have a problem and it says in in many cases to me that's not 100% that you won't have a problem but I have done extensive research and I have um, spoken to my nurses about it and they were so lovely and they were like you know you're really healthy and things like that so I was a bit I was it was a sigh of relief um, in that sense but when it comes to scans it is a struggle <laughs> to find the baby <laughs> in the sense that it's just a shadow so poor Alex gets himself in a bit of a tears and then I'm like oh don't worry it's fine you know I know I'm pregnant and um so basically we went back today and she was like right I was like I've drank water this time because last time I forgot to drink water and I went to the toilet and then we had to go back down and drink like a litre of water for us to get it so she's pressing down, she's presses down even harder, nothing. We saw little glimmers of a baby and that was it. So then she said to me, now, I am going to be completely honest. This literally has no filter whatsoever. So I do apologise in advance if you don't like the sound of what happened. I've just made it sound worse than it actually is. Okay. So, bearing in mind, I've got a retroverted uterus, so, you know, I'm like, great. So, she was like, right, there is other ways we can do a scan. So, I'm like, all right, okay. So, I'm thinking, great, we have to do another appointment. Like, I still can't see my baby properly because the last time, don't get me wrong, it was magical. It's hard work <laughs> trying to find your baby. Um, but we, we just got, a, it looked like a smudge. It didn't look like a real baby. Like, I could, we could only see a little bit of the head and a little bit of the foot. That's all we could see. Um, so I was a bit like, okay, great. So she's like, we're going to do that today. I was like, oh, okay, that's great. Basically, the other way of getting a scan photo, if especially you have a retroverted uterus, is by going the other way and going up. Does that make sense? Do we all know what that means? I hope so. Um, because not that I'm awkward or squeamish, just that some people might do might feel squeamish about it, which I totally understand and respect. I've not bothered. I've even like told everyone, I told my nan um, what happened today. And she she was like, oh yeah. Like, I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> nan, <laughs> went up the other way. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> um, so basically, um, it was a very weird experience. It was much clearer. Like I was thinking to myself, why didn't we do this in the first place? Because honestly, as much as baby didn't move, because baby's already a pain in the arse, <laughs> which made all the nurse, we had two nurses in the room in the end because ugh, we're that much of a special case. Um, and I, I said like, I told my husband, oh my God, this baby's already a pain in the arse, it won't move. She was like, you said it, not me. And I was like, honestly, why is this baby not moving? So I'm there with the stick that she's got, you know, rummaging around, you know, she's not delicate. And I'm there pinching Alex thinking I can get through this. And then um, she was like, right, we need to wiggle. So I started wiggling. I was coughing, laughing, like anything to get my belly moving 
or to get this baby moving or whatever and we got the one perfect picture well scan picture ever like it is so clear i can't even get over it we were literally cheering that place down we must have walked out of that room and everyone must have been like what were they cheering about but i am so pleased we got that and we were such a sigh of relief due date is in june next year so that's all confirmed and then i have to go and get some blood tests all is okay baby's really healthy she was really happy with like baby um and then literally as we got that perfect photo baby just literally turned around and was like yeah i'm done now i've performed and i was like god it's so like it's mother already like at first it wasn't moving it was being lazy and i'm looking at alex going this is you this this is him and they were laughing the nurses we honestly we were like a comedy show me and alex because i was like do you want to know why he's he's really lazy or she it's because of this guy right here i was like i'm really active but then baby honestly ugh, i can't describe to you the scan picture how incredible it clear it is i wonder if i can show you i've sent it as a picture to a lot of people so can you see that how clear is that like we that's that's a real baby like i am made up like literally oh those nurses must be so patient like with me because i didn't even know that i had this like something had to hiccup along the way because you know conception was easy first 12 weeks really i had only no well, i say only nausea it was awful and then tiredness so really it's been quite a nice journey so far and something had it's just nothing can be perfect in life <laughs> and apparently my body's not so i'm just so blessed that the baby's healthy um and i just oh honestly on cloud nine about it and thank you so much because people who've been watching my um instagrams uh stories as well i got loads of messages this morning honestly this isn't me boasting this is me just in sheer shock that people are interested in me babbling on um i'm so grateful for all the well wishes and the messages to me and alex we've had like phone calls text messages like from people we know or we went to school with and people who I don't even know, like, there's been, like, mum bloggers that have messaged me, for example, and been like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you, even saying if you need any advice, and I'm like, yes, but I just feel like it's put such a positive light on social media, and, you know, it, it, I'm just so happy, and I want to just keep saying thank you to everybody that I speak to, because, People are so interested and I think we're all at that stage of life, people that I know anyway, where it's like we are moving on to the next step. I had someone message today that asked, um, could you do a video about fitness during pregnancy so I can save it for in the future? I was like, you trust me to do that? That's incredible. But it's like so lovely as well because I don't really have a filter and I am very honest and I will say how I feel maybe that that might be like some people might not be able to do that and i completely respect that but i'd rather not act like anybody else but myself i think if you don't like me as me then there you go but no i am so grateful which leads me on to our next subject of how i feel about my body Hello. So this is the second part of this video. As you can see, I'm not in the usual space. I'm actually back at my mum's house. Oh, let me get comfy. Oh. So I'm back at my mum's, and the reason it's taken so long is because the original video actually wouldn't load. So I do apologize, it's taken so long. But the second part of this video is all about how i feel about my body changing and in all honesty i am welcoming the changes slowly although i do seem to tend to say because a little bump is forming i do like oh it's because i've had a big meal so i have to kind of overcome that so i do need to overcome it 
and not say it's a big meal and accept the fact that it's a baby not a big meal to me um but one thing that is exciting is the fact that i'll be able to see how my body does change like i'm excited to see what will happen obviously if i'm really honest the boobs have changed they've definitely changed um and a lot of people who have followed me for a while now and always ask the same question in like because of my past and me being really skinny will that will that seed be planted again and the answer is no i'm compared to five years ago when it all happened i'm a much mentally stronger person um and being a mentally stronger person than the position i was in five years ago hence why i'm pregnant otherwise i wouldn't want to do that to myself or my baby because that would be just be totally unfair i am loving dressing myself um around a bump um and big boobs well i say big boobs i've always had big boobs but they are bigger than usual um but no i'm excited to welcome it and i have the biggest cheerleaders in my life when it comes to my body changing um i'm only 13 weeks in and i have the best husband in the sense that he constantly tells me i look beautiful and everything and if i mention anything like oh i feel a bit chunky today and he's like you're pregnant um of course like it's not chunk it's a baby um and my mum says the same um my only advice i'd give to people who are pregnant is make sure you have a positive like bunch of people around you you don't need anybody to put you down in a time like this because you could be a bit fragile some people find it hard to accept gaining weight and things like that um i was really lucky in the sense that i'm quite an active person so i've actually lost weight in my first trimester i'm sure that will not be the same in my second trimester um and i'm just excited that at christmas everyone else will have food babies and i'll be like well it's an actual baby <laughs> um but i will i have that outlook in the sense that even though i'm saying oh it's an actual baby I, personally i'll never say oh i'm eating for two so i should have two cakes that's just that's just not me i wouldn't be like that i'd eat enough so that i know that i'm full because then the baby will get a bit of the food and my midwife and my nurse have said that's a really good outlook to have they've said to continue on working out make sure everything's all prenatal approved and i've checked with them it's just making sure that you are constantly positive i don't think there's been a morning where i've waked up waked up woke up and thought oh, I just don't want to be gaining weight I hate my body I haven't had those thoughts in a very long time I'm actually really enjoying the whole put and bio oil and Palmer's stretch mark so I don't get it I even say to Alex if I'm putting on like shorts just to go around the house can we have a stretch mark check um so it's just it's just making sure that you're positive but the people who have messaged so far have been so lovely said that i'm glowing which is really nice currently on my face i'm not wearing foundation at all my skin seems to be really amazing my rosacea has calmed down immensely um and i'm really enjoying being <laughs> being able to just be i always didn't really wear makeup anyway but i would um suffer from rosacea in the winter and usually at this time of year I, I am looking like rudolph the red-nosed reindeer and this year i'm not really looking like rudolph the red-nosed reindeer so that's quite exciting um i think i've <laughs> i've been getting a lot of questions um about like what i'm wearing and how i'm dressing and things like that and it's really nice and i really want to say thank you um and my fashion inspiration's always been my mum 
because she's like the trendiest person ever. Um, so it's no one that I've ever looked at other than her. I don't tend to look at other people on Instagram say I want that because she's got it. I tend to look at my mum and go, oh, I could wear that coat. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a huge thank you. And I'm going to end the video there because I feel like I've been positive and I've answered all the questions that I've got on here. Um, but no, thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and follow at almost grown up underscore me and baby siddle are out <laughs>